Hi guys, Marcus Campbell here, and welcome to a special video about how to build a website with the free Composer tool. Sit tight, this is going to be a very long video because we are going to go over all the steps that it takes to start building a website from scratch. And for those of you out there that are struggling and need a little bit of help with building sites, I'm going to make it as easy as possible. You can see here, this is our course outline, and we're going to go over everything you need to know so that by the end of watching this video, you will be able to build a website from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started with number one, the getting started overview. Okay, so let's get started. After you download and install the Composer tool, you'll see a screen that looks just like this. Now let me give you a quick overview of how everything works. You're going to notice several different parts. You have your tools on the toolbar and your files and all that good stuff. And we have some more toolbars here. And then here we have a site manager, which is basically where you can open sites, save sites, uh, put all your work, everything like that. And over here we have what's called the what you see as what you get area, where you basically create your file the way you want it, and it is going to make the site based on the way this looks. So it's really easy to do. And then you're going to notice at the very bottom you have design, split, and source. Now what you'll notice is that as you create something in the NVU tool, like this, or the Composer tool. They used to call it NVU, but they changed the name. Um, either one works fine. But basically, what you'll notice is that as you create stuff in the what you see is what you get window, you can go to the split and actually see what the HTML equivalent is of that thing that you just created. So if I was to say, you know, um, hi, this is Marcus, like this, you'll see that when we toggle back and forth it actually splits what the HTML code looks like. Okay. Now this is very important because this is where you're going to put your codes and everything like that. Now if you want to look at the entire HTML of the page that you've created you would hit the source tab and it would generate the entire HTML for the site as seen in Internet Explorer. The main things you're going to want to look at when starting is the Design tab and the Source tab. The Design tab, of course, as mentioned earlier, is where you're going to make your website look exactly how you want it to look on the web. And the Source is kind of like the behind the scenes, what the computer reads, uh, the code. Okay, And this is where you can view your code, change your code, and even add new codes like an autoresponder, a JavaScript code, a tracking code, or anything that you want to use to make your site function better, work better, or do different cool stuff. Okay, So back to the design tab, what we're going to do now is we are going to talk about working with a new blank file. Okay, so this is the blank slate that you get when you open the Composer program. And we have several options now. We can start with this blank template like this and just write however we want, put images wherever we want, and all that. Or we can actually open a file from the web. We could do open from web location like this, enter in our file, hit create, and it'll actually bring up a, any site on the web in a way that you can edit it. Okay, and you can see here that this is my Simple Sites Big Profits homepage. And you can see it looks exactly like it does. And let's say I didn't want the Twitter icon. I could just take that out like that. Um, or I could change links. I can change where things go. Uh, very, very easy to do. So that's one option is opening from the web. And, you know, you could literally do um, any any file on the web, you could do you know whatever you want, or you can actually open a file from your computer. Okay, this is very very handy when it comes to you know opening templates and things like that. For example, if I want to bring up the page that I made about how to build a site with NVU, I could bring that up just like this. 
and I could basically edit it, change things around, and whatever I feel like doing with it, and then save it and re-upload it or whatever I want to do. Really, really easy. But what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on starting from scratch because by starting from scratch, you're going to learn all the stuff that you would do with templates anyway, uh, such as you know changing the background, changing links, adding text, um, images, everything like that. So let's go ahead and get started from a blank page. Now, when I like to get started, what I like to do is I, as you have probably noticed, I like to make my sites have some kind of template-like feel. Um, so if you were to go here and open up, you know, Simple Sites Big Profits, like this, you'll see that basically what I'm doing is I have a table that goes down the middle. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. You can see I have a table that goes right down the middle here and it has several different properties. It's got a box on the top, it's got a box down the side, and a box in the middle for my main content. And you saw how that worked with the um, editing version where I actually brought up this in the editor and showed you how that is. So if we want to recreate this, what we can do is basically go to our NVU program and go to the table tab at the top. Okay, this is where I always start because this is the easiest way to get started. And I could do insert table. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a little chart of how I want my tables to look. Okay, so if you want, you know, three columns or three uh, down and, you know, one across or whatever, three across, um, you can create it however you want. Now, for our example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four like this, uh, two and two and then it'll bring it up in here. Now you can edit these however you like. If you just drag these like that, it'll change it uh, and you can see how big they are here. Now what I like to do is I like to keep it at the 800 pixels wide, uh, anywhere from 750 to 800 pixels wide, because that gives us enough space to put all our content without looking funny on people's monitors who have different resolution. Uh, so 750 to 800 wide is usually the best. Uh, sometimes if I have a lot of content or big videos, I will go as much as 1000 wide, but I do like to stick to the 800 or 750. Um, so obviously if you wanted to go 800, uh, you would drag this until the numbers equaled 800. You could see right here, uh, it actually calculates it 787, uh, 792, and we'll go up to 800. Yep, there we go. Right like that. Okay. Now, also, what you can do is you can change how big each cell is. Okay, that way, you know, it doesn't look like it's like this. It actually looks like uh, the model that I had in uh, Simple Sites, where you know you have the skinny one here and then the big box here. Works really, really well. And I'm going to show you how I do this top bar as well. But first, let's go ahead and get this squared away. And the way you would change these cells is you would actually do table and you would go to table properties. Okay? And then you're going to see your table here. Uh, so far we have a height of 60 don't really need to worry about that because it's going to change as we add our content. Um, you can change your columns here, your borders, uh, if you don't want borders, if you do want borders, the spacing, everything like that, um, and even the background color. So very, very easy. But first what we want to do is we want to make the table center, right, like that. So now it is centered. And then we want to go to the cells. And what the cells is going to do is it's going to adjust how big these cells are and how big these cells are. So right now you can see uh, this is highlighted in gray, which means we are working on this cell. And what we want to focus on is the width of the cell. And since we are at 800 wide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the width of this cell 200, which is one-fourth, uh, for those math buffs out there, it's one-fourth of the total uh, way that it looks. And if I hit apply, you can see that now I have a skinny row here and a big row for my content here and we're ready to go. Okay, now just to make it a little bit easier, what we can do is we can actually just hit enter a bunch of times in one of these cells and make it look long uh, so you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. Okay, so this is our basic table layout and now what we want to do is choose a background color. Now obviously in marketing you don't want your background color to be something that jumps out at everyone. You want it to be subtle and you want it to kind of blend in so that this table, your content, 
shines out. Okay, you want it to complement, not overpower. So we're going to go ahead and choose one, and the way we do that is we go to Format, Page Colors and Background. Okay, and when we get to Page Colors and Background, um, what we want to do to get the rest of this video and tons of other videos and tools to help you make money online, please go to simplesitesbigprofits.com or click the link on this page.